Can you please give me a ride? I can't do it. I can't marry him. Okay, okay, calm down. I'll take you. Just get me out of here, please. I live in Vinewood Hills, Kimball Hill Drive. Oh God, thank you so much. I was starting to think nobody was going to stop. People see a girl screaming in a wedding dress and they assume crazy. He's the crazy one, not me. Talk about anger issues. No, I couldn't go through with it. I'm not ready. Oh, just the thought of waking up next to that caveman every morning for the rest of my life. Oh my God, no, I think that's him. He's coming after me. Leave me alone! I'm done with you! You're done when I say you're done! Get me away from him, please! I can't go back there! I feel like I've had this exact argument. If I can't have you, no one else will! You're a little boy in a man's body with a little boy's dick! That bitch is supposed to be my wife! I never want to see you or your mother again! This guy here, this is a real man! You sure? Oh, finally! Now please take me home. I can't wait to get out of this stupid dress. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I ain't the guy who's gonna try to sell you on the joys of marriage, trust me. For what it's worth, based on the short time I've spent with the two of you so far, I think you're making the right decision. I should never have let it go this far. Oh God, what's my dad going to say? He spent 10 grand just on ice sculptures for the reception. We had these cute little cell phone covers made with our photo on them. It was going to be so fabulous. Ah, oh, no doubt. Everyone loves personalized wedding swag. Oh, God, I hope they don't make me give back the gifts. Ugh, whatever. Anything to be rid of him. And at least I lost all that weight. What did you even see in that guy? On paper, he was perfect. Rich, successful, the big car, the house in Vinewood Hills. And he was nice to me sometimes after the rages. I thought I could change him. Are you married? Barely. I think my wife wishes she did what you're doing. And I know he did some hooker on his bachelor party, but he just kept smiling and talking about his stupid bro past. You know, he told me once that infidelity doesn't count out of state. Well, guess who's got the honeymoon tickets? Two can play at that game. I might even get pregnant. I'll have some Greek waiter's baby, see how he likes that. There was no way I was having kids with that Neanderthal. The thought of perpetuating his DNA? Ugh, I couldn't do that to the world. Something tells me you aren't gonna stay friends after all this. You should see his friends. They were all there, hungover, grinning like a bunch of slow kids at a petting zoo. I have never met bigger douchebags in my life. I would literally rather disembowel myself with a jagged piece of glass than play hostess to those morons ever again. And his mother? Of course I could never live up to her, could I? The way he ran around after her, her and her prolapse. I seriously think some weird stuff went down with those two. I bet he used to bathe her. Oh, you tell it like it is, don't you? Anyway, I don't want to talk about him anymore. I just want this all to be over. Thank you so much. You saved me from the worst decision of my life. <laughs>